pack of Valley Ham. Did it cut out some of my intro or not? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll just start over. Welcome to Pack of Valham. This is the Bean Boozled Mashup Challenge, video number three. It's a video in the series where I mash up. It's a. It is a challenge where I mash up Bean Boozled. Well, just supposed to be fast paced. Previously, it wasn't fast paced enough, but I just, you know. Alright, eat a bean. This might be the most complicated one, but you'll understand if we get to it. Free pass. And that means I get a free pass. And each free pass that I have, I can use later in place of eating one bean. I will have to lie. Good news! It does not require Flash, which was... Or Adobe Flash Player, which was removed in 2020. I messed up somewhere. Recording me does not know where I messed up. Unless I... Editor me will find out. Or by the time you're watching this, Editor me has found out. I'm just going to start over. Eat a bean. This might be the most complicated one, but you'll understand if we get to it. Free pass. That means I get a free pass. And each free pass that I have, I can use later in place of eating one bean. No, I'm not taking the L. I will have to lie. I will make some predictions and go back to the wheel. And if it lands on I will have to lie again, I get to, f to f maybe find out if the predictions are correct or not. Or maybe I'll just keep going until I make some more predictions. And maybe I'll find out if a prediction is correct or not. It's possible there's a prediction somewhere in a video, but like maybe a few minutes later in the video we'll find out. I know there's one, maybe two. Actually, I can find that. All right, this prediction, we didn't find that out previously, so maybe in this video, if the wheel lands on, I will have to lie. Impossible quiz. Good news, it does not require Adobe Flash Player, which was removed in 2020. So I'll just keep playing the impossible quiz until I inevitably uh, lose all of my lives and I eat a bean. Or until I somehow do the entire thing. Kahoot. I play one question of a Kahoot quiz. PBJ. That is not peanut butter jelly. That is a Proto Bowl Jeopardy. I just keep going on Proto Bowl Jeopardy until I make a guess. Proto Bowl. I keep, but that's the regular room with the long questions. And I keep going until I make a guess. If I make a correct guess early, that is before the entire question finishes and it has to be correct, then I get a free pass. So two ways to make a free pass. Quilf card. I do have another wheel for that to determine which kind of card that I will draw. The penalties in Quelf are moving back a certain number of spaces, but that would translate into the number of beans that I eat. So I will have to lie incorrect predictions will. Each incorrect prediction is one bean. Impossible quiz. When I inevitably fail, unless I somehow do the entire thing, out eat a bean. Kahoot if I get the question wrong. And then for the Proto Bowls, if any incorrect guess. Quelf card if I get a, any penalties. And TP contain that is Twitch plays keep talking and nobody explodes. That one had some issues. There was lagginess the first time and then in the second video. Uh, it was kind of too complicated. There weren't many modules that I could claim. And I found out it's not really fast paced. So I'll give TP contain one more chance. If any of you watching, if you have any suggestion for anything I can add to the wheel, then I will do that. I am not going to put P B Boozled S kids onto the wheel. I have explained that previously. And the the last straw that broke the camel's back was in one of my I Beloved to Live videos in 2020. Uh, other than that, the games are way too simple and because it's for kids, so I probably wouldn't be eating beans. So. If I retired that series, then I'm not going to put it on the wheel. Alright, alright. Rats 
seven minutes. How short did Editor Me manage to get cut down? Okay, right up there, put the current time, like, at 15 seconds. There we go. That timestamp of the YouTube video. And then put the difference between the YouTube time and the 7 minutes, 15 seconds of recording. That's how much time saved by Editor Me cutting out long pauses. Just like the one that I purposely did between the words long and pauses. Anyway, let's get to it. Oh, Ryan's not here. Actually, nobody else is here, so shouldn't really be anything slowing us down. Quilf card. I need to go to my room to get that bo box. Oh, there it is. Warning! This game causes random acts of silliness. It's been the wheel to find out which card I'm going to draw. Or which kind of card. Stunts. I think I got that on the first video. And I guess this is the second time I'm doing cloth cards on the mashup challenge. Uh, okay. There's something strange that I found while opening this box. All three top cards are stunts. So somehow the box knew the wheel landed on stunts. Alright, what's this one? There are more stunts cards underneath. What about this one? Also, more stunts cards underneath. What about this one? Nope, there's a quizzle. Hmm. Actually, this middle one here. Lift up a few. There's some quizzle cards. I'll go with this one. I have no way to enforce this, but I, this is Quelf. I want all of you watching, anybody who's watching, I don't care where you're watching. I mean, hopefully you're in a good position where you're able to speak and act out and stuff. I have no way to enforce it, but I want you to act out. Whatever this card says about other players, you act as to other players. Do it. But if you don't, that's okay. Stand up, close your eyes, and spin in seven circles, then sit back down. Have your opponents. That's you all. That, that's what I meant by other players. Have your opponents count your spins aloud. So, okay, so I'm doing the spinning. You all have to count. There's nobody else here, so I have to count in my head. This window will help. I know I've completed a spin on the lights on the right side. I'm not going to shut my eyes so tightly that I can't see any light. Actually, can I do that? Mm. Just a little bit of light came in. Stand up, close your eyes, spin in seven circles, and sit back down. Have your opponents, that you all, count your spins aloud. Actually, I'm going to count them aloud with you all, or by myself if none of you count aloud, because I have no way to enforce that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I noticed on the last one I was facing that way when I finished. So I don't know how far off I was for the other ones. Alright, right here. Putting 
this card right there. Under the stunts, above the scatter braids. What was the penalty? That doesn't matter. Well, I'm looking anyway. What was the penalty if I didn't spin? Two. Anyway. All right, let me get the video open. So there is one prediction that I showed earlier. It's about, uh, let's see if you can see it in the preview over there. All right, look there. In the center, you see that. Oh, Edward or me can put that back up there. Just like with the hot dog or chicken. So at the end of this ad, He's, well, it changed on me. The frame changed on me, but the editor of me can show the previous frame or whatever. Well, unless I could put it out here. Anyway, you see the arrow in the center? Look above it. I predicted you hit one of those two question mark blocks. That That's what you, I, actually, you know what? There they are. I predict you have to hit one of those two. Gave me that 1080p 60 and an ad in five. Episode. Okay. So there's a fire flower up there, but I guarantee we don't want that. Razzmatazz. Ooh. I'm gonna sit in this chair right over here. Ooh, that looks spicy. Yeah, you got a little. Give me the skip! Give me the skip! Come on, where's the skip? Where's the skip? What other I Bluff to Lie, Season 1 or Season 2 jokes or shenanigans can I reference? <laughs> I don't know what happened at the beginning of season two, but it is okay for me to pause this. Well, the ad not loading had something to do with the screen being recorded because as soon as I paused the screen recorder, the ad played and I just enough that I could skip the click button. Skip the click button. You know what I mean. So I don't need to correct myself and say click the skip button. Well, never mind, I just did. Guarantee we don't want that. That's a troll hidden up there. Okay, this is Japanese. That says, hey. One, hit the P switch. Step two, then drop down. Step three. I was correct about the hidden pipe. And I thought I ended up being wrong, so I've already eaten a bean for it. Uh. I would give myself a free pass to make up for that, but I think that ended up being wrong. So they cancel each other out. <laughs> Step one, hit the P. Step two, down below. 
Step three. Yes! It wasn't lying. Let's go. In case you don't understand what happened with my predictions. So I made predictions all around the screen and I took care of them. This was in the previous video, the, you know, video number two. I had predicted you had to hit one of these instead of getting the mushroom over there. And I predicted there was a hidden pipe. When Dave sent Mario through that pipe, I predicted, or I thought, that prediction ended up being wrong. There was no hidden pipe. And I ate a bean for it. This time, I found out that's actually correct. And so I would get a free pass, but it turns out this guess is wrong. So the bean I ate for that one, turns out I'm eating it for that one. Does that make sense? Okay, made a prediction here, thought it would, and thought it ended up being wrong, so I ate a bean for it. Turns out it was correct, so I should get a free pass. But it turns out this prediction's wrong, so I'm using that free pass. Yes! It wasn't lying. Let's go. Wow, that was real. Okay, I need to make predictions on this screen, then go back to spinning the wheel. I am thinking that the right, the correct move is to throw the Galoomba down there. Hmm, okay, it seems like you need to activate maybe this, maybe this P-switch so that those will be solid. You can walk on them and you would need the key to go into the door. If you toss an enemy on a key, do you get the key? Actually, you know what? I'm guessing specifically I have to toss the Gloomba to the right of the key. And I'm guessing you do not jump up there. Seems like you would, you know, hit the turn blocks, go up, hit the P-switch, and then the turn block beside the piece which would turn into a coin and then you would fall down these coins would turn into platforms you can walk across i'm guessing you do not go up there so just two predictions galoomba no go wheel spin editor me again find the difference between the current video time and 23 minutes and the difference there between whatever that time is how much you've shortened it or duration of the video so far at the 23 minute mark of the recording so at 23 minutes of recording i shortened it to that duration or editor me and then that's the difference how much time was saved between the recording and the finished video. I'll tell you what, I will read the clues out loud to you. A clue or clues, however many it takes. Alright, the mailing address of Hearst Castle is in this small California community. What is San Simeon? Ocean Spray makes cranberry, cran grape, and cran variety of orange. What is tangerine? In 1836, he was defeated by Sam Houston for the presidency of the Republic of Texas. What is Austin? The first modern crossword puzzle was published and Oreo cookies are introduced. What is the 1910s? Three letter I'm gonna go uh, see gun or top. What is pop? Don't think I've heard of a pop gun. I I've heard of a prop gun and pop top. I uh, guess yeah, like a top of a bottle that you pop off. Actress Selma Hayek. Oh. I don't know. Mexico. I thought I had a guess, but then I didn't. Uh, actually, that warrants a bean.
if I deliberately buzz, by then I don't have a guess or it's an incorrect guess, then, you know? If I think they make a mistake, there's an automated process to determine if an answer is correct or not. Sometimes my answer should be counted or should not be counted. Whatever the case is, if necessary, I will override what it says if it's correct or not. In this case, I need to eat a bean. Because, as you can see, previously I ended up with zero free passes. Berry blue or toothpaste? Okay. Alright, there's an open packet that has one such bean in addition to... Or with, it, it is paired with a juicy pear or booger. Which one you think it is? And if you said it's berry blue, you're wrong now. No. It's it is toothpaste. Another one! Uh, the Belfast Born Flute Master can be heard on the Lord of the Rings film soundtrack. This is James Galway. The Egyptians were the first known civilization to power boats using these, probably large leafy fronds on the bow. What are sails? Oh, that makes sense. Someone who uses statistics to figure out when you're likely to die and thus whether you're worth insurance. What is an actuary? Or actuary? Grandmaster Flash. What is white? It's what the doctor was asked during the illness of sewing machine inventor Elias. What is how? Or really, how is how? The name of these sewing shears refers to their notched blades, not to a color. What is pinking shears? Yale played this march for Edward Elgar when it gave him an honorary PhD in 1905. He probably loved it. He wrote it. What is pop and circumstance? Maybe I shouldn't read these for you because it's kind of slow. And if this slowed down, I probably would have gotten it. It's not like I know this piece. It's not like I've created a trap remix of this piece or not. I mean, I mean, I have. I have. Exactly three months before 9-11, this Oklahoma City bomber was executed. What is... Or who, who is Timothy... McVeigh? Or McVeigh? I don't know how that's pronounced. The second of any series, as in chemistry or physics. What is beta? Oh. Oh yeah, that makes sense. It is the second Greek letter. Or beta, it, or beta, if you're from the UK. This brand name for a gazelle goes back to a company that made shoes for a 1924 Olympic athlete. Puma? Reba. Yeah, gazelles and pumas are different animals, I know that.
I know that a gazelle is not a bird. And I know that a puma is not a bird. Puma's a cat. Gazelle is something else. Peach or bower. Well, I'm gonna open a new one. I did not find any loose ones. What else was in this one? Alright, uh, you take a look for yourself. You see what solids in this one. A uh, juicy pear booger. There's it's a chocolate pudding. Yeah, or canned dog food, and then there's there's the peach or barf I'm gonna get. There's one of those lose lose white ones, and there's coconut or with milk and then there's rotten egg or what's a good flavor what's better than rotten egg butter popcorn okay peach or barf I could taste it just putting it right here before chewing on it And it, it is barf. I do not know why I'm saying it like that. I don't know why I have been saying it like that. This will end the video. Whether it's successful or not. I'll try to do one module. And each strike is one beam. Tell you what, if some if something I do blows up the bomb, I'll make it three beams. If I'm the cause of explosion. If what I do is the cause of explosion. Turning and turning in the whitening gyre, the falcon cannot hear the falconer. Things fall apart. Turning and turning. So Ha <laughs> ha.